Hi, this is Zainab. Today we'll be practicing intermediate to advanced yoga practice. So if you have zero experience or little experience, you can join us, but you have to go slow and you have to make sure that you know the alignment of the asanas before you go ahead. We do need a block or two. It depends on your flexibility and um, that's else. We don't need a, star, a strap or anything else. So let's get ready and start with child's pose. Take a deep inhale and start to deepen your breath, making it deeper and slower with each inhale and each exhale. Set your intention for the practice. Today we'll be exploring Akapada Kundanyasana 1 and 2. So we'll be having a little bit of hip opening, a little bit of balance, and some core, core work. So if your hands are not yet active, please go ahead and activate them, pushing the shoulders away from your ears. Take a deep inhale on your next exhale, roll up to downward facing dog. It's your first dog, so pedal your dog. Bending the right on the leg on the exhale, extending the left and then switching by bending the left and extending the right. Keep breathing. Maybe you can twist or open to the sides. Feel free, it's your first dog before we hold it statically. So do whatever your body feels like, maybe opening the legs and drawing them in circles. Try the other side, whatever you do on one side, try to do it on the other side as well. So taking a deep inhale and a deeper exhale now hold your static dog making sure that your heels are behind your toes and line so you don't see your heels your legs are hip width distance apart the weight is on your thumb and on your index finger your triceps are pushing out your lower abs are engaged. Take a deep inhale, gaze forward, and keep your toe all the way to the top of the mat. So come on your toes, on the tips of your toes, engaging your abs and pushing with your shoulders until you reach into a forward fold position. You can bend your knees. Your, knee, your legs are hip width or apart or they're just close by big toe touching take an inhale come halfway flat back place your hands on your waist elbows to the ceiling inhale here lengthen the spine exhale rise we'll start our flow inhale circle the arms up overhead interlace your hand palms facing the sky inhale here exhale to the right inhale back to center exhale to the left inhale center exhale arch the back inhale exhale fold forwards 
Inhale, halfway flat back. Exhale, take your legs all the way to plank. Hold your plank. Make sure your tailbone is tucked in. You're lengthening with the upper back, no rounding in the upper back. Opening the chest, pushing the floor away. Squeezing your inner thighs, engaging your core. Take an inhale. Now on your exhale, press back to downward facing dog. Inhale, exhale to plank. Inhale, exhale to dog. Downward facing dog. Inhale to plank. Exhale to downward facing dog. Inhale, one more to plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, cobra or up dog. Then roll back up to downward facing dog. Take an inhale here. Exhale. Two more breaths. Gaze forward. You can walk or you can hop to the top of the mat. Inhale, halfway flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise and shine. Exhale, drive to the right side. Lateral stretch, interlacing your fingers. Inhale, center. Exhale to the left. Inhale, center. Exhale, arch and open. Inhale, rise. Lengthen your palms and fold. Inhale, halfway flat back. Exhale, palms to the floor. Hop back to Chaturanga. Press back up to plank and then to dog. We'll repeat the same thing from down dog. We inhale to plank and then lower Chaturanga. Lift up and then press back. Three more of those with the breath. Last one. Push back. And now the vinyasa part. Yeah, I cheated, I know. Two, up dog. So shoulders away from the ears, knees off the ground. Take an inhale, go back to downward facing dog on an exhale. Three breaths. Gaze forward, bend the knees, maybe bend the elbows, and hop to the top of the mat. Inhale here, exhale. Walk. Inhale, rise and shine. Interlace the hands. Palms facing up. Exhale to the right. Inhale, center. Exhale to the left. Inhale, center. Exhale, arch. Inhale, release the arms, the hands. And exhale, fold in. Inhale, halfway flat back. Exhale, hop back to Chaturanga or take plank. And do your vinyasa. Inhale to up dog, exhale to downward facing dog. On your next inhale, right, right leg lifts, hips are squared, right leg to right shoulder. Inhale up, right leg to left triceps. Inhale up, right leg to belly, rounding the back to tiger pose. Inhale, lift up, exhale, lower down. Left leg lifts, left leg on the inhale extends and lengthens on the exhale to shoulder or triceps. Inhale, lift, exhale to the right, squeeze. Inhale, lift, exhale to the belly. Inhale, lift, exhale, lower down. Take a deep inhale on your exhale. You can sigh it out if you feel the heat is coming. 
Now the tray should be up by now. Gaze forward, take a deep inhale. On your exhale, hop. Inhale, halfway flat back. Exhale, hook. Inhale, rise. Exhale, hands to the heart. And now, take a deep inhale. Bring the hands shoulder hot so that your hands are just in line with your shoulders. Belly button engaged. Come on your tippy toes. Finding your balance, your legs are hip width apart. Inhale here, exhale slowly, slowly start to bend and lower down. Hold it here. Inhale, come back to chair. Great job. Inhale, exhale, pulled forwards. Inhale, halfway flat back. Exhale, do your vinyasa. Inhale, up dog. Open the chest. Exhale, back to downward facing dog. On the inhale, lift the right leg up, right leg to belly. Exhale. Inhale, right leg lifts and extends. Exhale, right leg passes through. Inhale, rise to crescent. On the exhale, bend and hover the back leg off the ground. Inhale, back to crescent. Exhale, leg hovering off. Inhale, back to crescent. Exhale, leg is hovering off. One more. Inhale, extend. Exhale, bend. Take a deep inhale. Hold your crescent, belly button pulling up, lower abs, chest is zipped, shoulders away from the ears. Take an inhale, exhale, you can keep the leg up and do your vinyasa. So plant lifted leg, in line, abs engage, more bellies, lift up, take an inhale, exhale, chaturanga, inhale, up dog, exhale, back to downward facing dog inhale other side exhale left leg to nose inhale lift up exhale passes the hands the leg through inhale come to crescent exhale lower down inhale extend the leg exhale lower it down inhale keep the engagement exhale Feel the knee is hovering a little bit off the ground. Inhale, lift up, hold your crescent. So if you have any back injuries, bend the back leg, making sure your hips are facing forward, your knee is in on top of your ankle. Take an inhale, exhale, swing the leg up, engage your abs, vinyasa. Inhale. Here, exhale, down dog. Let's take three breaths. Gaze forward, take an inhale, hop to the top of the mat. Inhale, halfway flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise and shine. Exhale, hands to the heart. Inhale, circle the hands, hands in line with the shoulders. Exhale, your legs, hip width apart, width apart, and lower down. Inhale, come back to chair. Exhale, fold in. Inhale, halfway flat back. Exhale, hop back to your vinyasa. You can always omit the middle vinyasa, and we can meet in downward facing dog. Take an inhale, right leg lifts. Exhale, right leg to nose. Inhale, right leg lifts. Exhale, right leg passes through between the hands. Inhale, come to crescent. And now on your exhale, extend. Both legs lifting on the front tippy toe. Inhale, let's slow down. Exhale, rise. Inhale, let's go down. Exhale, rise. Inhale, lower down. Exhale, extend. Inhale, hold your crescent. Opening the chest. Back leg would be extended or a little bit bent. 
inhale here exhale do your vinyasa keeping the back leg lifted on the same out breath exhale chaturanga and then inhale upward facing dog or cobra press back on your exhale to down dog right leg lifts on your in left leg lifts on your inhale left leg to pose left leg lifts left leg passes through take a deep inhale rise exhale let's sit down inhale come on your tippy toes front leg extended find your balance inhale here exhale down this time inhale lift up so keep the breath with the movement last time now bend and hold extend to a crescent inhale come back on your exhale do your chaturanga inhale to up dog exhale press back to downward facing dog three breaths last breath and now hop to the front of the mat mat or you can just walk to the top of the mat inhale halfway flat back exhale fork inhale rise and shine exhale hands to the heart last round inhale circle the hands up legs hip width distance apart hands in line with the shoulders take a deep inhale exhale come on your tippy toes heels off the ground maybe you can sit all the way down take a deep inhale here exhale sit down let's do navasana pose so you can have the option of having your knees bent or maybe on the floor it depends on your body you can even hold the back of your thighs activating here you might have a wiggle a shake that's fine shoulders away maintain the distance between the neck and the chest engage your hams your quads your abs inhale here exhale halfway ardha navasana inhale maybe come halfway exhale inhale halfway exhale inhale halfway exhale inhale rise and now on the exhale take the legs back and rock all the way to chair pose if you can you can use your arms your hands support and lift up to chair pose inhale here exhale fold inhale halfway flat back exhale bend your knees and hop back or take your plank do your vinyasa or maybe skip vinyasa take a deep inhale right leg lifts exhale right leg to nose inhale left, right leg lifts right leg passes through take an inhale to crescent lunge hold it here for four for three for two lower down and heel toe your right leg outside so we're in lizard lunge back leg will stay up off the floor you can lower it down or you can keep it up slowly slowly start to bend your elbows and hold it here so if you feel this is better just lower it down keep the knees hugging to your chest extend your chest so your chest is in cobra position now slowly slowly make some space and try to bring your shoulder just under we're still not yet warm enough maybe so just okay listen to your body maybe just your hand gets passes through maybe you touch the back of the leg and start to move back and forth take a deep inhale lift up on your exhale let's do our vinyasa so press the back leg to down dog up three leg dog right leg up and come to plank on the exhale chaturanga and then open to cobra or up dog exhale back to downward facing dog inhale left leg lifts exhale left leg to nose inhale left leg lifts exhale left leg 
passes through all the way to crescent lunge take a deep inhale here find your balance focus on a point your drishti inhale and exhale here is an area perfect place to warm sorry to calm our heart and breathe and get back to our normal breathing so remember to tuck in lift up and zip take a deep inhale on the exhale lower the hands to the inside scoot the back leg back and heel toe your toes to the left side of the mat you can stay here maybe you can roll before you go down all the way the sides are not symmetrical each side is different so take your time and do what best for you this is your practice it's unique to you so you can stay here you can lower the knee down the back leg and slowly slowly start to grab the back of the left leg and try to scoot your shoulder just under inhale here come up take an inhale two three leg downward facing dog exhale come to chaturanga with lifted leg and then open your chest go back to downward facing dog take a deep inhale and exhale inhale exhale so we're pushing the weight back to the heels stretching the hamstrings the shoulders are going up away from the ears everything is going up when it reaches the climax the top it goes down all the way it's just like two directions up and down take a deep inhale bend the knees and hop all the way to the top of the mat inhale halfway flat back exhale fold stay in a forward fold position you can use your block if you want now or for the forward folds or you can stay without the block we'll try to stretch the inner thighs in just one exercise before we start the other flow so i want you to remove or lift actually lift the right leg off the ground and come on your fingertips with your right and left hand so now you're balancing on the left leg and your left hand you can use the block if you want under your left hand because we're going to use a right hand soon take a deep inhale it needs balance grab the outside of your sole of the leg and slowly slowly start to open to the side hold it one two three and on four take it all the way back and just stretch 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 maybe sit down relax take an inhale lift it up and then bring it to behind so your toes your pinky toes are touching you're bending the left leg I want you to twist to the left and stretch inhale here release the legs stay down wiggle 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 bend both legs maybe we'll do the other side so you can come halfway flat back a little bit to relax before we start on the other side if you feel dizzy or you can just continue with me lifting first the left leg off the ground shifting the weight to the right leg and I'm balancing right now on my right hand and right leg my left leg is off I just grab the outside and slowly slowly I might lift it all the way or hip height hold it here engage your abs for four three two and one bring it back and stretch so slowly slowly start to lower down take an inhale sit nice and tall on your exhale shift forwards and bring the leg the thing the toes are 
touching right leg is bent twist to the right and fold stretch the left leg great that's wonderful now come back to normal both legs are big toes are touching inhale halfway flat back exhale fold inhale rise exhale hands to the heart maybe bring the hands to the side in mountain pose now we'll start our second series so take a deep inhale circle the hands up overhead exhale bow bend sorry fold forwards swan dive inhale lengthen the spine so you can come under the knees or on a block or on your fingertips if you're lengthening with the spine take a deep inhale shoulders are away from the ears exhale bend and then bend the knees place the hands and take your vinyasa to downward facing dog or we can meet at dog so if you're hopping please do hop to chaturanga not to plank to protect your shoulders okay now right leg lifts up on the inhale right leg to nose right leg lifts up on an inhale right leg between the hands will go to warrior two so align yourself you're experienced you know it take an inhale cartwheel open to warrior two let's hold warrior two for two breaths more feel the lengthening at the back of the side of the body feel the tuck of the tailbone bone feel the opening make sure your alignment is correct take an inhale open to revolved warrior and extend your front leg opening the heart stretching the side and now shifting all the way to triangle pose always remember you can use a block under your hand now bring your top hand which is left to your waist start bending your front leg right leg and bringing the back leg all the way forward lifting to half moon opening the chest here take an inhale open to half moon remember to use the block under your hand if you need to lift the ground or you can release your fingertips off the ground to have some balance let's go back to the full expression of the pose where the fingers are touching the ground take a deep inhale on your exhale gently go to warrior two inhale here cartwheel the hands down back leg comes on your toes so on the sole heels off open to easy pose twist make sure the hips are aligned inhale here lower the hand down right leg to the knee back to three legs downward facing dog great lower down let's start with the other side left leg lifts up left leg to the nose left leg lifts up left leg passes through warrior two so make sure the legs are aligned our base is firm the foundation is firm we open to warrior two lengthen the chest from the sides shoulders away from the ears they're relaxed extend feel the lines of energy here hold it two more breaths you can go deeper take an inhale extend the front leg and open to revolved warrior inhale all the way to triangle pose you can make the distance shorter or you can keep it the same keep breathing hands to the waist bend the front leg gaze forward bring the hands you can have your block just under your hand 
and then lift up to half moon, opening the chest. Extend the hand, come all the way to the full expression of the pose. Take a deep inhale on your exhale, lower down to warrior two. Cartwheel the hands to the inside, back come on the back toes, open the chest and twist. Left hand to the sky, right hand firmly on the floor. Take an inhale, lower both hands down, adjust your stance, left knee to nose, pushing back to three leg downward facing dog. Lower the heels down and relax. Here you can just pedal your legs if you want, walk your dogs, your, forward, your downward facing dog, or you can hold it steady. You can go to child's pose. Okay. Take an inhale, gaze forward. Let's hop to the top of the mat. Inhale here, halfway flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise. Exhale, hands to the heart. Take a deep inhale, one more time, vinyasa. Exhale, fold all the way down. Inhale, halfway flat back. Exhale, exhale. Hop all the way to Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Opening the chest. Exhale back to downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg lifts. Exhale, walk your hands all the way to the back of the mat. Hold it here, we're in split. Now, if you have your block, make it handy, close. We're going to revolve half moon. So right hand on the floor, open the chest all the way to the left. Imagine you're pressing a wall or something at the back leg. Take a deep inhale, come back to split and walk your dog all the way to the top of the mat. Keeping the right leg lifted, take a deep inhale, right leg goes to the right shoulder and press back. This time, right leg goes to the left, and press back. Right leg goes to the nose, and press back. Right leg goes to the left. You can shorten your dog, or you can take Kundanyasana one by lifting up. Hold, four, three, Two, press back chaturanga, upward facing dog, press back to down dog. Take a deep inhale. Let's go to the left leg. So left leg lifts up, walk the hands back all the way to the back of the mat. We're in split, so we're looking for square on, squaring of the hips rather than opening. Left hand, left hand to the floor, to the mat. Open the chest into twisted half moon. Take a deep inhale, exhale to split. And then walk back to downward facing dog. Inhale here, exhale left knee to left triceps or shoulder to the right and then to the nose. So each time we inhale up and exhale round. Inhale up, now exhale to the right shoulder. Shape to Kundanyasana. One. Press back to Chaturanga and then up dog, downward facing dog. Stay in your down dog. Now this time, lift the right leg up and let's walk our hands back one more time and try to have balance with the split. So try to lift the leg higher. You can keep the hips square or you can open them, adding some 
balance take a deep inhale walk the hand back to the front of the mat inhale here exhale right knee to right shoulder and then press back inhale exhale to the nose let's change inhale exhale to the left inhale exhale kundanyasana two so you can stay here or start to bend extend and lift hold it for four three two press back you can do your vinyasa or we can meet in downward facing dog left leg lift on an inhale walk the hands back a little bit of balance maybe you can wrap the back of your right leg and hold it here take a deep inhale walk back to three leg dog okay let's start left leg to the left and then back inhale to the nose back inhale to the triceps of the right hand back inhale you can go to the same kundinyasana or you can or open the chest just need to triceps hold okay i guess we're done take an inhale right leg lifts up right leg all the way to pigeon pose so your knee to your wrist hold your pigeon pose you can support the right hip to make sure they are squared your right toes flexed if it's a 90 degrees take an inhale here exhale fold in There are other ways, other ways of getting through Kundanyasana. Kundanyasana one and two. We took the downward facing dog variation for today's flow. Now it's time to relax and release. Imagine someone is pushing your left hip down so you can level up those hips. You can pad your head if you want. You can extend the hands to so do whatever makes you relaxed. On your next inhale, come up. We're pressing back to downward facing dog, three legged. So take your right leg up and open your hips. Keep the bend in the knee and slowly, slowly lower and flip your downward facing dog. Inhale here, exhale, open and deep. Arching the back, releasing our hip flexors and opening the heart. Inhale here, exhale, come back to three legs. Downward facing dog and then relax. Let's do the left leg. We go to pigeon, so pose. Find your position before you fold. Just breathe. Notice the difference between sides. Appreciate your efforts. And now slowly, slowly start to fold. Maybe you can hold it here. Or you can fold. Now 
pressing up with your hands, lift up, two, three legs, downward facing dog. You can tuck the back toes, slowly, slowly lift up, and then press back. Three leg dog, I need some space, so I have to adjust, open the hips. Imagine your heel is touching your buttocks, and lower the leg down, sit, and then extend and open. Take a deep inhale, come back to the three leg dog, and now lower both legs to the facing dog, lowering the knees, crossing them behind you, and sitting in a cross leg seat position. Take a deep inhale. You can extend your left leg, bring the right leg across. You can bend the right leg and rise, raise both hands up to the sky and twist. Inhale, come up, exhale, let's switch. So you can keep the leg extended, or you can, and you can keep the wrap, open the chest, your left hand behind to your spine, lengthen, don't round, so lengthen and open, or you can bring your right leg and push to the outside to assist yourself. Make sure both of your sit bones are on the floor. They are your anchors. We don't want you to lose your grounding. Take a deep inhale. Come back. Now the soles of the feet are together. If you feel tension in your inner thighs, you can just bring them forwards a little bit into a diamond shape, or you can keep them in a butterfly or pose. So take a deep inhale. Now we're not folding forwards. We're going to go slowly, slowly, all the way back to our backs. Breathe here. Let the gravity do its work. Maybe you can place your hands on your inner thighs, pressing them down on each exhale. Shoulders are away from the ears. I want you to notice the curve in your spine. Your spine is not a straight line. It's like an S shape. It has a curve. So just notice that cur curve and feel it. You can stay here for Shavasana or you can slowly, slowly extend the legs in front, knees wider, then the hips, legs are wide apart, they're falling, your palms turned to the ceiling, your chest is open, shoulders away from the ears, you're relaxed, you can put some blocks under your knees for extra support to your back, close your eyes, and we are in Shavasana, you did it. You did great. It was like a roller coaster ride that went up and didn't get down until the end. You did great. Eyes are closed. Normal breathing. You can just start by taking a deep inhale through the nose. Expand your belly. Hold it to the tip. You can have one more extra sip of air and exhale it out through the mouth. Let's do that one more time. So take a deep inhale through the nose all the way. Expand your belly like a big balloon. Hold it here for a second. And now exhale out everything. Come back to normal breathing. Relax the space between your eyebrows. Relax your jaw. 
Relax your neck. Relax your shoulders, your arms, your hips, your knees, and your legs, your feet. Feel heavy and grounded. Now slowly, slowly bring your awareness to your body by circling the ankles and wrists. Take a deep inhale, extend your hands overhead, stretch your legs. On your exhale, bring the knees to the chest and roll to your side. Keep your eyes closed. Inhale, pressing your top hand, come up all the way to easy position, Sukhasana. Bring the hands to the heart, bow the head down. Take a deep inhale. And exhale out. And open your eyes. Namaste. Thank you for practicing with me. See you again on the mat. Stay healthy. Bye.